I do. I have probably one of the most spectacular birds that we have here in the Sabi Sands, the Batelier Eagle. And you can see, look at his round head. The wind is blowing perfectly to get all those big feathers on his head blown out. And he looks like he's got a big circular kind of mane around his face. So they are exquisite birds when they sit like this and their wind is ruffling their feathers. You can see that bright red face and sear and then red legs and the tiny little yellow tip to the beak. They are amazing looking birds and particularly for the raptors. A lot of the raptors tend to be quite drab and brown and not too much coloration but these guys really do kind of bring the raptor world to life with their looks and their amount of color that they have. But you'll find that these battaliers that we see here, this is an area where they nest. So there is a, two nests that are actually utilized in this section. One is just to the sort of east of where that bird is now, and the other one is south of us. And you'll find that they nest here most years, and last year they were actually here, and we saw them on the nest itself. So hopefully this year will be some of the same again. They tend to use the same nest every year and, and be able to kind of grow their chicks as long as they're safe and they the chicks get to adulthood then they will use it again. Sinatra you say what a glorious battalier eagle. Well it is glorious isn't it and like I say the wind is blowing in the perfect direction just to get those feathers all out that it almost looks as though he's like I say got a lion's mane around its head. Now it looks to me as though it's just the one. I can't see the other one at the moment. Remember with Battalier Eagles, they are monogamous and they pair together for life. So I can't see the mates at the moment, but it will be here somewhere. You'll find that they often sit together. So it will be good to see if we just scan around, maybe we'll find the other one. But this is the male that we see sitting there. So you can see his dark wings that he's got. He's got that black tip there's no white in there if it was the female you would find that there would be a big broad white stripe on that wing that would be able to indicate that it is a female also you can see the how short the tail is those wing feathers actually extend beyond where the tail is when they are youngsters and juveniles and immatures you'll find that the wing feathers are actually a pretty similar length to the tail but as they get older that tail almost seems to shorten up and the wings then protrude past it as a very telltale sign even if you saw this a silhouette of this bird you'd be able to id it just from that tail wing section there it's one of the few eagles that has such short feathers there and the reason why they have very very small tail is because they don't need to be as stable in flight they're not like the goshawks or even some of the birds of prey like Wahlberg's eagles and and likes that need long tails to be agile in flight to be able to catch birds as they go because remember they'll hunt on the wings these guys are more carrion feeders so they don't need to be as stable in flight they can just flop down towards where a dead animal is and then feed off it and you'll find they're normally one of the first birds to arrive at a carcass they have incredible eyesight and they tend to fly quite low and they generally are the first ones, particularly around roadkill and varying other things. You will find the Battalier Eagle there quite quickly and followed by the Tawny Eagles and then the Vultures after that. And if you see Battaliers, Tawnies and Vultures together, you know that something fresh is dead. It's not something that has been dead for very long because the Battaliers and the Tawnies tend to prefer fresher food rather than the old sort of rotten meat that the vultures will eat. But very nice, he looks just like a chicken this morning.